My name is Danko Emmanuel Kenjo, and I welcome you to Kentech 96 TV, a YouTube channel to educate you on renewable energy and the relevance of power system. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about Thevenin's theory, which is normally used in simplifying electrical circuits. Now, so when we look on the board, uh, Thevenin's theory is saying that uh, any linear circuit connected between two terminals can be replaced with Thevenin's voltage in series with Thevenin's resistance. So any linear circuit, whenever we have a linear circuit and it's being connected between two terminals, we can replace it with a Thevenin's voltage. And this is the Thevenin's voltage, which is VTH. And VTH is the voltage seen across the terminal A and B. And it's supposed to be connected in series with Thevenin's equivalent resistance normally represented with RTH. Then the RTH is also calculated as the total resistance seen between the terminals A and B when all the independent sources are being disconnected from the circuit. So anytime you have independent sources such as voltage, current, we can disconnect the voltage source by representing it with a, a short circuit and we can also disconnect the current source by representing it with an open circuit then rl is the load resistor so if i want to calculate the current through this simple circuit since the load resistor which is rl is connected in series with the Thevenin's equivalent resistance the current, let's say I, flowing through RTH will be the same current flowing through the RL. So in short, I will be equal to VTH over RTH plus RL. Now, there are various procedures you need to follow whenever you want to apply Thevenin's theorem. And there are these four key procedures you need to follow whenever you want to use Thevenin's theory. And the first one is, remove the load resistor and mark the terminal. So when the question is given to you, and you are supposed to find the current flowing through a certain resistor, you need to remove, that resistor becomes a load resistor. And what you need to do is that you need to remove that load resistor and mark the terminal A and B. Then second, you need to find the open circuit voltage. And the open circuit voltage is the Thevenin's Thevenin's voltage, which is VTH, using catch-off voltage law. So we are going to use catch-off voltage law to find our VTH. Then, thirdly, we are supposed to remove all independent sources and find RTH. So in the circuit diagram, we will have to remove all the current source and the voltage source so that we will be able to calculate our RTH. Then, lastly, we are supposed to produce the Thevenin's equivalent circuit reconnecting the load resistor so we are supposed to once we are done going through all the procedures we are supposed to arrive with this Thevenin's equivalent circuit whereby we will connect our load resistor in series with the Thevenin's equivalent resistor so we are supposed to use Thevenin's theory to solve the circuit on the board and the question is find the current going through the 3 ohm resistor using Thevenin's theory so this is our 3 ohm resistor becoming our load resistor. So to use Thevenin's theorem, there are specific procedures that we need to follow. And first, we are supposed to remove the load resistor and mark the terminals. So this is our load resistor. So we need to remove this load resistor from the circuit and mark the terminals. So A and B. Then, we move on to find our Thevenin's voltage, which is VTH, by using Kirchhoff's voltage law. So we need to find VTH, which is the voltage seen between the terminals. So to use uh, Kirchhoff voltage law, we can uh, solve this circuit by representing them with loop. So if I have A, B, E, G, H, F, H. We can solve this circuit by uh, using a catch-off voltage law. So this is a voltage source which will drive current, I. 
Now, this current will flow through the 5 ohm resistor. But when it gets to this junction, since this is an OP circuit, no current will flow through the OP circuit. So this same I will flow through resistor 5, will flow through a resistor having a resistance of 5 ohms. So when it gets to this junction, you will apply what we call catch off current law, which is current entering the junction should be equal to current leaving the junction. So this is I. So when it gets here, we are going to have I1, I2. So simplifying this circuit, I can solve it by using loops. So for loop A, B, E, F, J, H, A. This is the current flowing through. So I can have 7 equal to 5 i plus 5i plus 2i1 so this will give me 7 equal to 10i plus 2i1 giving us equation 1 so we are going to use Thevenis theorem to solve this circuit and in this circuit, we are supposed to find the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor using Thevenin's theory. So this is our 3 ohm resistor, becoming also our load resistor. And whenever you want to use Thevenin's theory, there are, set, there are specific procedures that you are supposed to follow. And the first one is we are supposed to remove the load resistor and mark the terminals. So we are going to take this load resistor and mark the terminals A and B. Then secondly, we are supposed to find the Thevenin's equivalent Thevenin's voltage. And the Thevenin's voltage, which is VTH, that is the voltage seen between the terminal A and B. And in solving for the VTH, we normally use what we call catch-off voltage law. And using the catch-off voltage law, this is a voltage source which will drive current I. When I flows through the circuit, when it gets to this junction, since this is open circuited, no current will flow through. So this same I will get to this junction, which is E. Then we can apply catch off current law, which is current entering a junction should be equal to current leaving the junction. So we can have I to be equal to I1 plus I2. And this will be our equation one. Then when we consider this loop going in today's direction, we can have 7 volts plus 5i plus 5i plus 2i1 plus 2i. So simplifying this, we are going to have 7 volts, which is equal to 12i plus 2i1. And this becomes our equation 2. So considering loop 2, which is C, D, E, F, C. So loop C, D, EFC. We are going to have 10, which is equal to 2i1 minus 2i2. And this can be further simplified in 5i1 minus i2. Equation 3. So when we solve equation 1, 2, 3 simultaneously, we are going to have i, which is equal to 2 over 13 amps. I1, which is equal to 67 over 26. I2, which is equal to negative 63 over 26. So we can now calculate our VTH considering this loop. So here is 5 ohm resistor. So considering this loop, we are going to solve for VTH and is giving us 7 volts 
equal to 5i plus vth therefore our vth is equal to 7 minus 5i 7 minus 5i whereby i is cal calculated as 2 over 3 so 5 into bracket 2 over 13 amp so our vth will be equal to 2.23 volt So here the voltage across the open circuited part which is the terminal a and b is equal to 6.23 volts so therefore vth is equal to 6.23 volts then we are supposed to find our rth which is thevenin's equivalent resistance and in doing so we are supposed to remove all independent sources so this question we are going to remove this independent source and it's a voltage source so we will remove it and replace it with a short circuit same thing applies to this voltage source remove it and replace it with a short circuit then we realize that from this circuit this two ohm is in parallel with two ohm so two is in parallel with two giving us and if resistors are connected in, in parallel they are resultant to be one over two plus one over two all raised to the power one and this will be equal to one now when we are able to resolve these two resistors it means that this five ohm together with this one ohm and two ohm will be in series so we are going to have five ohm in series with one in series with two and when resistors are connected in series we need to add them we are going to have five plus one plus two which is equal to seven now this seven will be in parallel with five ohm so this one ohm is in series with five and two so five in series with one in series with two and when resistors are connected in series we need to add them so five plus one plus two giving us eight now this eight ohm will be in parallel with five ohm resistor so five parallel with eight will be equal to one over five plus one over eight always the power one and this will be equal to 3.08 ohm Therefore, our RTH, which is Thevenin equivalent resistance, is 3.08 ohm. So lastly, once uh, we are able to calculate for RTH and VTH, it means we are supposed to represent it with a, uh, with a, a Thevenin equivalent circuit, such that the RTH will be in series with VTH. And VTH, we have 6.23 volts. RTH we are 3.08 ohm and the load resistor is 3 ohm so if you want to calculate the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor voltage from ohms law V is equal to IR so the current will be equal to V which is VTH over RTH plus RL and the value of VTH is 6.23 volts over RTH, which is 3.08 ohms, plus the load resistor. And this will give us 1.03 ohm. So therefore, the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor is 1.03 ohms. Thank you for watching Kentech Television. Please do, do not forget to subscribe for more updates.